Okay, guys. So how we're gonna start doing things is, you know, ever since the uh, lack of premiere led to us not having, you know, to make finish the six mass extinction. For now, we are going to have short ish skittish it's skittish skits yeah so basically it's gonna be caesar talking about all the cool environmental stuff but hopefully i can have some guest characters in there every now and then and then i'll be doing the real talk stuff which is kind of hard to explain but you, you'll see once my first one's come out but so just enjoy two days episodes and the next and i try to alternate the the types of like you know the planet earth and like like that world with your own personal world if you get my drift all right y'all have a great day guys <laughs> Bye. okay guys today we are here to with our first uh, environmental slash geology anything with like animal life or non-human life type of science so today we are here to learn the basics of vertebrates and later on we will have a list of what is a vertebrate and what is not so you know what vertebrates are but first let me just tell you vertebrates are basically any organism with a advanced you know spinal cord central nervous system like this basically has a spine and internal bones ish well i guess sharks have cartilage but it's, it's still a skeleton so anything with a skeleton on the inside that doesn't look like a bug. So, you know, crabs, they, they have armor on the outside, so they look like a bug. They're not bugs, but you know what I mean, like they're arthropods. But more <laughs> worms aren't arthropods, but they also don't have a spine. It's kind of hard to explain. You either got a spine or you don't, pretty much, all right? That, that's, I'm just going to say that. But, okay, we'll, we'll get to that later. Okay guys, today we are here with Neon and we'll be learning about vertebrates. And I just want to say vertebrates are cut up into five different categories. The mammalians, the avians, the reptilians, and the amphibians, and the fishians. Uh, fishians? That, what? That doesn't sound right, Caesar. And you should get better lighting. This is really dark. Where's that spotlight? We're here. So Caesar can tell us the difference of examples of what's a vertebrae and what's not. So let's get into this. Gosh. There's that spotlight. Anyway. Well, that's a good shot. But, um, okay. So the first one we are going over is... The American alligator. So Caesar, tell us, is that a vertebrate? Uh, yes, a American alligator is a reptile and is does have a spine, does have hard armor, but not made of chitin. So yes, an American alligator is a vertebrate. Just like hurts me. So American alligator is a check, that's a vertebrate. Okay, on to the next one, Caesar. What is a king cheetah? Well, that's a, you know, a mammal. The fastest land one with very low success rate on his killing. You're lucky Leonard's not here, Caesar. Or he will show you his percentage on killing. Is that a threat? Anyway, so is a king cheetah vertebrate? Yes, you know, it's a mammal, so vertebrate. You know, it has a spine, and you know, it's fuzzy. Very fuzzy. True, true. All right, next one. A jellyfish. How, what, what would you think about that one? Well, here, here you go. It's part of Nidaria. Phylum? Order? Get that acronym. But anyway, it's, it's mostly water, and it doesn't have any bones in it, so it's... it's and it doesn't have armor either, but it is a, an invertebrate. So, not a vertebrate. So, no backbone, no brain even. It's just an invertebrate. It flops around and just stings things and pulls them back up to eat them. That's really its whole life. Huh. 
Can't they live forever? That's like one species, but it can grow backwards. So you know that when you're younger, then you always say it actually can get younger. Dang, that hurt. No one doesn't mean to that. Anyway, the next one, Dr. Phil. Like, okay, a vertebrate for sure, but you could have just said a human or something. Like, why specifically Dr. Phil? I don't know, man. Like, I, you may think I made this list, but it was honestly a group effort of all our friends and fans and me, mostly me. <sighs> Fine, yes, it's a vertebrate. A ferret, adorable little ferrets. Yes, they are mammal, they got a backbone, so it's a vertebrate. What about a corn snake? Uh, Huh. All snakes are vertebrates because they're reptiles, but the image you, Are you talking about a species corn snake like Ekans, or are you talking about a literal snake made of corn? Because that's... Man. Okay, so with a normal corn snake, yes, it's a vertebrate. But in this case, I'm confused. That could be an actual snake that lives in corn. That's using mimicry, so it could still be a vertebrate, but then again... It literally made, be made of corn, and that's not even an animal, so I didn't confuse about this picture, but I'm just gonna go, yes, it's, it's a vertebrate. All right, so, you ain't boss of animal stuff. You don't, you don't know everything. Well, yeah, a hippo. Yes, a mammal, backbone, vertebrate, big tusk, it's, it's a vertebrate. A dolphin, another mammal. And even if it was a fish, cause it's not, they're both vertebrate. What about a butterfly? No, that's an invertebrate. So it's an insect. So let me just say this real quick. All insects, crustaceans, bugs, which is a type of insect, and you know, arachnids, so like scorpions, ticks, spiders, jellyfish, so cnidaria, mollusks, so clams, snails, worms, nematodes. So basically, that's anything like creepy crawling, so mirapods like centipedes, are all invertebrates, especially butterflies. A star. Man, that's not an animal. And it's just a giant ball of gas, so technically not a vertebrate, but at the same time, it's not anything in our kingdom. So, no. Star butterfly. She's a human. So it's basically a human. So yes, a vertebrate. Gosh, I see what you did there. Yes. SpongeBob SquarePants. Now what pictures did you get? And no, he is a sponge and they are invertebrates, asymmetric invertebrates. And fun fact, they're hermaphrodites of both genders. And sponges are pretty cool, especially some in SquarePants. There you go, Caesar, finally becoming likable. Right, so 50 cent. Again, another specific human. So yes, a vertebrate. Any human is a vertebrate. A green iguana, you know, only the best life form in all existence in any realm slash universe. <sighs> That's your opinion. That's a fact. <sighs> Reptile vertebrate next. Okay, ouch. Well, that one's actually is life. It's not even an animal, so it can't be a vertebrate or invertebrate. But it's definitely not a vertebrate, it's in bacteria. It's a boomafoo. Well, okay. So an actual lemur is a primate, so that's a vertebrate. But the one in the show, most of the time is a puppet, so it's inanimate. And doesn't have any bones. But then again, it has strings. Strings on it that are pulled by humans. Which are vertebrates, so... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll think about that one a bit more. Godzilla! Uh, okay, so... For what I know, most Godzilla versions are from a Godzilla Saurus or mutated dancer, so the dancer is a vertebrate automatically, so that makes Godzilla vertebrate. But, for talking about Shin Godzilla, which is basically microorganisms, it's an invertebrate. And then... Godzilla Earth, that's plant-based Godzilla, so not even an animal, so it's not a vertebrate. But I say overall, if you're to average all the movies, yes, Godzilla is a vertebrate. A lemming, adorable little mammal, a vertebrate. 
Ghost Rider. Like, uh, well, he's usually human first, but it's more of a spirit thing that turns you to Ghost Rider. So it depends on the base person, which most are humans, and from my knowledge. But so yes, a vertebrate. He has a spine. Pretty sure, because he has a score right there. So, yes, a vertebrate. Yeah. A proboscis monkey. <sighs> yeah, that's how I feel. Exactly right there. No face. It's a vertebrate. Honestly, a very scary animal. Yes. Very scary animal. But yes, it's a primate vertebrate. A Japanese hornet. Stuff from the most nightmare surrounds. But it is an insect, so invertebrate. So not a vertebrate. A devora. Okay, distinguish devora. She's a chitin, which is an insectoid base race. But at the same time, when you do x rays or fatalities, she has an internal skeleton. So for me, I'm just going to say she's both, all right? A vertebrate and, and an invertebrate, all right? So just enough said. Gosh. What about Caesar? Man, why am I on the list? Clearly, I have a chimpanzee that's primate with a vertebrae. Okay, first off, Caesar, you're a puppet, so you don't have any organs and are controlled by, well, I guess technically a vertebrae, and you're based off an animal that is a vertebrae. But you as an object or not a vertebrate. So I rest my case. I find you acquitted. For now. And if you're so sure, why don't we see what's on the list? Yeah, let's see what's on the list. Uh, gosh dang it, Neon. 